Vilios. We are Purple Sugar, all the way from Tallinn, Estonia. It's great to be here. Great seeing you all. We're gonna play some rock and roll for you, if you don't mind.
So, we have an album out, I'm gonna talk about it later. It's a title track from the album, this next song. It's called Make a Wish. <laughs>
so much, guys. Hey, we really appreciate it. It's our first time in, uh, in videos. And we love it here, guys. Thanks, dear. In case you're wondering how the album looks like, it's here. If you want it, you can talk to us later. Okay, so if you guys want to come closer and uh, move your butts a little, you know, you're welcome. This one is for dancing. Yeah, this next, our last song is called Device. <coughs>
yeah, the energy was kind of nice. Uh, of course, I liked how you played and how you performed and interaction with the audience. Although I felt like I've heard it before, you know. Uh, sorry to say that, but there are really good examples of uh, a bit of psychedelic rock and roll music from Kadavar or let's say our neighbors, yes, that's right, and our neighbors uh, Polish band Vistas. So I just, I was missing a little bit of something, you know, extra from you and um, maybe some kind of, um, I don't know, more creative ideas, maybe, or maybe more uh, rock and roll, not rock and roll on the stage, but more, how to say, imitating. You need performance. Hmm? You need performance from, from the band. Uh, maybe from the sound a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, from, from um, uh, I mean, uh, something additional to the song, something from what we feel or what we live in. Um, yeah. So I was missing a little bit of something extra. Okay. Thank you. Tara, <laughs> Tara, guys. Uh, <laughs> I really liked your performance. Uh, it's a uh, rich sound and uh, well balanced. And you are relaxed on stage and you know your thing. So I'm a rock and roll expert to tell you what to do. Uh, you have an album, you have videos. Uh, it looks like you are not a newly formed band from my point of view. So uh, just keep on doing those things. And I think you like it and uh, I can feel it. <laughs> okay guys, hello. Thank you for your performance, really. And uh, I want to see some good words for you and some advices, okay? Can I? I'm not an expert uh, in your music, but what I can say, you're playing really well. Really. You, are, you sound like three in one, you know? I don't feel any... Dis Diseases like I don't feel any discomfort when I'm listening to you because you really know how to play, you really love what you are playing and you are really stylish. But <laughs> when there is one but, uh, I think I want to say one thing what we uh, agree with Thomas that uh, sometimes like in the first and second song uh, there was uh, too much lyrics, too much words uh, on repeat. Because like, come on, come on, come on, okay, come on, but you know, what can you say more? Or you say, make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. I know that this is part of this style, but it's sometimes too much, you know? Because I really enjoy the performance and these little things are sometimes, you know, doing tricky things in my head and ears. And uh, I see that you're playing really good, but where is Samuel? <laughs> uh, maybe you can take the from Yeah. Uh, that's what I wanted to say actually before. That, um, yes, as you might know, we are a four piece. Yeah. And uh, Samuel just had a baby recently. So he has to be home. Yes. Oh, thank you for so, so, okay. Normally we have uh, actually other songs too. We have, uh, uh, we, we have songs in Estonian that we've written recently. And, nice. Um, and some kind of more funkish kind of style, so I guess uh, maybe you will uh, hear those next time. <laughs> I understand your... Well played. Yeah, well played. And you know, but I really agree with my colleagues that you have a style, but you need to find your identity, uh, because you sound sometimes like others. I don't want to feel this, because when I see you, I know that you are unique. But when I'm listening to you, and if I'm, you know, with closed eyes, um, sometimes, sometimes I lose you. So only this thing, but I see really big persons on the stage, and I believe that you will manage this, yes? Yes, thank you very much for all the comments, we really appreciate those, and we're going to keep those in mind. Thanks. Tommy, the door is the canal.
Speech. The last words from Thomas. Uh, Bring it on, Sagan. <laughs> Bring it on, Sagan. Mm -hmm. I think Show everybody here can hear that you are a professional on the stage. You know how to play, you know how to deliver, you know how to do your things. But uh, the one thing what Yelis said is about the uh, The things when you are repeating the same stuff very uh, a lot of times, and the people here are not that drunk. It's kind of staying annoying stuff. So if you are coming here to represent yourself, you know that it's not your concert. Like, you know you have uh, one hour or maybe more time, and you know that people in the second part of your performance will definitely be drunk and it could go okay. You need to think about other songs and other things which can uh, buy us like listeners to your side. And also, that thing showing your album and uh, representing the like you, uh, everybody can come and buy it doesn't seem to me that sweet. It felt like a bit you came here to sell it, and it was like, oh my god, guys. But yeah, when we are talking about the performance, when we are talking about other things, it seemed really, really professional, and uh, I think you have anything to represent yourself in your own concert here. So this is what I'm waiting for here in Lithuania. I don't know about that. Because they, yeah, they came, they came for the first time to Lithuania. So, so uh, I understand that, that moment of, of, uh, of showing their music that they're, they're selling, they have. That, that's the main thing, that they have an album already on the vinyl. So that's a big thing for the band. So I would like to uh, applause for them and, uh, and give a big shout out to them. Let me one more thing, okay? Yeah, uh, Grigori, yes? You're the vocalist. So if you will meet Marcus Polubenko in Lithuania, please make a duo, <laughs> because you really look the same. And if you know Marcus Polubenko, you can do something really cool with him. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Once again, make some noise once again. Ivan Shubin. What amazing performance from this room. Amazing performance. Vyra, dvarė, trys, tai taip sakyme, dėtysiu vienus vartus, jūs čia dar šokojas kažką aš mes pavyzdžiui. Bando šių davarškų spausti. Taip pavyzdžiui. Paklokit dar kartelį, kur buvo šiandien. Amazing performance. Thanks, guys, once again. Perėjom į kitą pusę, jokas jaukais, tai mes šis tiek jūs įtri vairio, Valinskas. Ketvirtas pasirodymas šio vakaro visai čia neužilgo, no use. Pasirodys šiai ketvirtieji ant senos, esame, kaip minėjau, antroje pusėje, komisija, žymysi, viską daro, bet aš visi noriu akcentuoti. Jau matau, kad žmonės kažkaip supranta, kur mes esam, kad visoms grupėms, visiems pasirodymams reikia palaikymo ir aš labai dėl to džiaugiuosi. Jeigu ką tik čia atėjote, net išėjo pavėlavot į renginį. Žinokite, kad tai čia vyksta lofto LRT Opus terasoje jaunų grupių, bet sutomu, kaip tik šneikėjom, ar jaunų grupių konkursas. Ne jaunų grupių konkursas, grupių konkursas tiesiog. Nesvarbu, nei patirtis, nei kiek metų groji, ar jis išleidęs albumą, ar ne. Šitą seną čia užlipus ant jos, šitą seną visiems yra lygi. Ne jaunų grupių konkursas, reikia man pačiam įsikarti galvo. Prisigavau, nes Tomas manęs kažkaip užklausė. Žodžiu, ketvirtas pasirodymas visai čia neužilgo, trumpas apsigeitimas ir nemaišau hebrai vieniotį savo laidų. Visai neužilgo čia vėl gyvo muzika, muzikos gyvo padarės naugos.